Procreate is pretty great and with their latest update they added a ton of really awesome new features but something that I noticed when I very first started was that there's no way to make layer masks which is a pretty important thing in a lot of digital art and it was really inhibiting and it was difficult for me to do a lot of the stuff I wanted to do um, and when I looked online and the uh, the guidebook on how to use Procreate it didn't say anything about it and so uh, I had to come up with my own roundabout way to figure out how to make them. So there is a way to make layer masks in Procreate, it's just not as simple as it is in Photoshop. So um, I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. So to start out, uh, we need to select the entire shape that we want. So I'm gonna come over here and select the lasso tool and I'm just gonna outline this entire guy here, this little octopus fellow. Something to keep in mind when you are uh, selecting stuff in Procreate is that if you just tap from one point to another, it'll automatically fill in that space. You don't have to draw out the whole thing. So instead of going like this, I can just go like this and it'll automatically cover that distance with a straight line. It's really helpful for doing long stretches of uh, straight pieces. Another thing to keep in mind as you're selecting your shape is that you want to lift up with your pen quite a bit because if you just do the whole thing in one long stroke without lifting up your pen and you accidentally mess up uh, and say I go outside the lines like this and I want to undo it, the only way to undo is by negating that entire section that I just did. So by lifting up your pen frequently, you create several little checkpoints for yourself so that if you need to undo, you don't have to go back all the way. You can just go back in chunks. All right, so I have my whole shape selected now. I'm just gonna select a random color and I'm gonna drag it over by hitting the color dot, holding down it, and then dragging it over and filling my shape. And, oops, and we wanna make sure we have a new layer selected as well. So I'm gonna create a new layer. I'm gonna put it underneath all of my other layers and then I'm gonna drag it in and fill it. And then just to make sure that everything is layering correctly, I'm going to go to my other drawing layers and make sure they are set to multiply. Okay, so now I have my entire shape. And if we turn off my drawing layers, you'll see that it's just the silhouette of our octopus. Now, what we want to do is make it so that we can uh, draw only inside of this shape. Okay, so there's a couple ways to do this. Uh, one, we just tap on our shape layer, click select, and now it will hold on to that shape. Go ahead and create a new layer, and it will keep that selection activated even though you're on a new layer, and you can actually turn off your shape layer so it's not visible, and then on the new layer that you created, you can paint inside of that shape, and it won't go outside of it on a completely separate layer. So come over here and whatever I paint will stay completely inside of that. And if I turn off my selection, I still have that all on its own separate layer. I can move it around, do whatever I want with it. Um, now let's say you want your uh, 
you want your mask to be reversed, right? You want it to affect the outside of that shape instead of the inside. Then what you can do is turn back on your shape layer, hit select, okay? And then hold down the selection tool, the little S shape that looks like a tape measure in the top left. Hold down on that until it brings up your options down at the bottom of the screen here where it says freehand and automatic. And if you click on the button that looks like two air or two corners next to each other pointing at each other right there, it will invert your selection and then you can do the same thing. Create a new layer and then when you draw, it'll only draw on everything that's outside of that shape instead of on the inside. And if we turn that off, you can see that it only affected outside of the shape. So that's how you make uh, layer masks in Procreate. If there's any other tutorials you'd like to see me do, then leave it in the comments what uh, you'd like me to show you guys how to do. So here is the finished uh, octopus painting. Um, and just to show you guys how I did that layer, it's right down here. This is the layer mask I used to do everything on. Um, and using that technique, I was able to paint this whole picture without ever going outside of the lines. So uh, that's my way to create layer masks. And if you guys like this video and want to see more like it, please subscribe. Thanks. Bye.